Okay, we're back and you can see that my Milk of Magnesia has dried. It should dry very white even when you go to bed with it on. I want to digress a little bit about uh, extractions. A lot of facials or estheticians steam the skin prior to extractions. They say that it softens it and helps you get everything out a little easier. I'm not a huge advocate of facial steamers. I have seen too many with funguses and bacteria inside of them where green has grown or mold has grown. Also, uh, they're not cleaned properly. They're, the water's not uh, changed out properly. And I have also seen where people have gotten reactions from being steamed. So me personally, I think it's old school. I think that microdermabrasion when done properly by a board certified master esthetician is done on your skin. It can remove that thick layer of skin or that film or that callus and the extractions come out very easily. I also love hot towels and we use a lot of hot towels. So if you want to uh, cook up some hot towels in your microwave for a few seconds, put them in a bowl, you can certainly do that as well. We will continue by removing the mask and I actually have a nice hot towel here. Now I like to hold it on in a treatment, we put it all over your face and then wipe. So kind of hold it and then wipe and it just softens the milk of magnesia. When I'm done, I'm quite certain you will see some Milk of Magnesia somewhere still on my face. Again, Milk of Magnesia is very healing. It not only pulled everything else out of my pores and got it nice and clean, it also helped with any redness and it is anti-inflammatory. And I wear it to bed because I also think it completely protects your skin at night from acne, from the oils that are coming up, it absorbs it, keeps your pores nice and clean. And I also feel really strongly that uh, I learned about it from someone really famous that has no wrinkles and I have no real wrinkles or crepey skin. And I know it's because of the milk of magnesia. So work up, don't forget your neck. You know, I'm, I'm very expressive, so my neck and I get lines and my laugh lines, but I like them. Just make sure you're cleaning those areas as well so that lines don't look deeper than they should be. Okay, I think we've got all our milk of magnesia off. Again, you might see a little bit. We will move on to our night serum. I'm going to put on Ageless because it is a retinol. Retin-A was really popular in the 80s and 90s. It was a pharmaceutical or is a pharmaceutical grade vitamin A in a retin-A form. It is really irritating to the skin and in the years that I've seen women use it, I've seen a lot of discoloration, a lot of irritation because they don't clean their skin properly and they don't protect it while they're out in the environment. Retinol studies have shown, and I look at studies by universities, I look at studies that have been done by the Journal of Medicine, but studies have shown that your skin can drink in vitamin A in a retinol form, and that's what ours is. If you're in the facial, we're putting retinol on you. If you're pregnant, we're using Illumina, so if you're pregnant at home, just use Illumina. And distribute it all over your skin. Be very thorough. And at this time is when I would do microcurrent. Microcurrent is not all the same. You want an esthetician who has been trained properly in microcurrent, knows how to do microcurrent, and it should only be done with proper gloves that have been sterilized. Microcurrent in the salon is about 500 times stronger than these little guys, these new faces. New faces are more of a maintenance for at home, but we're going to use it today because we don't have our microcurrent machines with us. Uh, we hope to have these available online and we hope to be able to let you to pre-order those very soon. Uh, we're just getting those in right now. You turn on your microcurrent in the salon, we would, again, use a more specified microcurrent and you start from the bottom. I like to get all the blood working up. And just work it up. It's the same movements, I think, as you might find in many massages and you just work the skin. Now, my skin's not super dry because I just had my mask on, so I am getting a good glide. 
and the vitamin A or the retinol also is giving it a good glide. But it doesn't mean that you won't see my muscle moving. I try to do a few times on each side. And what's great about these little machines is they have three different strengths. So you can start at one, you can go to two, or you can go to three. And I'm only going to do a little bit just for showing you. So why do we want to work the muscles of our face and what is microcurrent? Well, this is just a little mini microcurrent, but microcurrent in the salon has been around since the 1940s in physical therapy. And they'll hook you up to electrodes of microcurrent electricity and they'll stimulate your muscles, your tendons, and getting all the blood flowing. It can be before surgery, it can be after an injury, it can be after surgery if you're healing. What they found in Europe is when you did it on the face, it was like a facelift without surgery. And I have seen women with Bell's palsy have their, their face look uh, better again. I have seen women de-age from microcurrent. And it's why we're so uh, passionate about not only doing it in our facials, but doing extended microcurrent. It's like working out with weights and doing your cardio and then coming back in and doing more weights and getting stronger. And I am an advocate of it. So you, again, you just work around the skin. If you're at home, maybe in front of the television, you can lift up your eyebrows, you can get right to the bone of the eye, but everything you're doing is you're lifting up. So try to start here, try to move upward and going all the way up to the forehead. I don't want you using any ingredients or gels that come with these machines, however. I don't love them. I have seen some breakout from them. And what we wanna do is use something pure. And what we're doing is we're not only creating muscle memory, we're telling the brain to move that muscle and keep it there, just like if we were lifting weights. But we're also um, helping the elements or the pure ingredients of the serum to penetrate your skin to its deepest depth. The stratum corneum, we're really getting low deep into the skin so that it can then create collagen, create balance, hydrate skin, and create more youthful looking healthy skin. After we do our microcurrent, we're going to tone. We tone to put the pH level of our skin at a perfect pH. And my toner is being put in, give me a minute. Just spray it on. And we're going to use our crystal roller. Crystal rollers are Chinese medicine. They help with the texture of the skin. They help with the blood flow of the skin. I typically start at the bottom, but when I'm in the facial, I like to start at the forehead. But again, it's all about blood flow. And you can get under your eyes. You can work it up, but try to be a little bit more consistent than I was and go up one side or down one side and up the other. After that, we're going to add our moisturizer. Moisturizer is locking in all the elements. Yes, we're layering, but because these are pure antioxidants, they're penetrating your skin and they're feeding your tissue. A lot of estheticians and a lot of facials are what I call a spa facial. They're not really a result-oriented facial. We are considered a result-oriented facial. They put all kinds of layers of oils and all these different balms on your skin and you leave and you think you feel really great or your skin looks good, but really it's just been real oiled up. Nothing has really been done to the core of the skin. We have done things that have changed your skin already. You should already be feeling like your skin looks healthier, looks more vibrant and alive. Take your moisturizer and work really strong. You will have seen in previous videos where I did massage and just work up your face. I want real strength, like you're kneading bread. If you need a little bit more moisturizer, go for it. And at this point is when you can follow any type of massage guidelines that you like. You can redo your microcurrent if you like. You can just work up your neck, getting all that blood flowing and oxygenation. You're also cleaning 
any of the um, toxins out of your skin, cleaning any lymph nodes, because you've done extractions and you've been working on this part of the body, everything has come up. Your skin is going to feel alive. It is going to feel more youthful. You can certainly use, again, any of the massage techniques I showed you previously, and it should feel alive and vibrant. So hopefully I've helped you to have a peaches facial at home. If you have any comments or questions, please be kind and ask them below. If you would like to have uh, a consultation, you can go on our website and one of my master estheticians can talk to you about anything about your skin. We can look at pictures, we can FaceTime, whatever's best for you. I hope that you trust what I say. I hope that you understand my knowledge and that I can give you the most beautiful skin you've ever had. Have an incredible day. Stay in, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the next video.